have you ever put off having that conversation with your aging mom or dad or maybe your grandparents or another aging loved one um, in your family about whether or not it's safe for them to be in the home anymore and maybe looking at, you know, assisted living or another form of, of senior independent living or, or something other than them um, aging in place um, and in their home. And a lot of times we avoid those conversations because we don't know where to start. We don't know how to find one. We don't know a lot of times what they cost or what's good or what do we need? Do we need memory, memory care? Do we not need memory care? What kind of services, what kind of a la carte services are we going to need? So it can become a very, very daunting task. Um, my name is Pam Dunwald and I am one of your nurse advocates from your nurse advocate consulting. And we are ramping up to uh, share our Senior Care Summit. As nurse advocates, that's one of the, the big things that we do is we problem solve, we put plans together, and we identify needs and then put the appropriate resources together when we work with a family that's struggling with some kind of a healthcare challenge, or maybe they're being proactive and just trying to plan for the future. We help put those plans in place and identify the resources that they may need. So we wanted to put together this Senior Care Summit to show you just the immense amount of resources that are available to you. We've got 28 speakers on 28 topics. And I did one of the videos yesterday with a senior, uh, a senior living placement advisor is, is what they're called. And we had a really, really great conversation just about this topic. So I'd like to share a couple of things that, that Jennifer is gonna talk about um, in her summit video. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and just uh, look at some of those things here. So the senior placement services, uh, there are a couple of different kinds. There are online, like a place for mom. There's independent ones that, that there's a, an agency, that a governing body that supports independent advisors. There's lots of places you can get help. and. I think Jennifer's. It's she has some very very eye opening uh, comments and insight into what they do, and you know, as a nurse, I know exactly what assisted livings do. I know what they struggle with. I know what services are available. But when it comes to knowing, you know, which ones are the best or the little nuances that goes along with some of them, you know, the the senior care serv um, advisors in your area are probably the the best the best known. Um, she, to be honest with you, I wasn't sure I wanted to include this uh, topic. Of course, uh, assisted living, we're going to have um, a topic on assisted living in the summit, but I was really hesitant to uh, go ahead and talk about the senior housing or senior living advisors because I've just had some really bad experiences. And I know this is maybe going to get a, a touch bit controversial, but um, I, you know, they offer free services and so do the advisors. So whether it's an advisor or whether it's an online platform where you go online and you give all your information and then you get a you know, bunch of different phone calls from the assisted livings wanting you to come in and, and do tours. So two very, very different services. The goal is, is the same as to find you uh, an assisted living or a an independent apartment or a nursing home. But the process I learned is extremely different. And that's where Jennifer is going to be able to share a lot of things uh, with you. So I almost wasn't going to talk about this because I've had uh, some bad experiences and heard about some bad experiences from assisted livings that, you know, got a bill in the mail for this referral fee. They didn't know that it was coming and it, it just gets really messy. So I'm, I'm not the expert on that. So I'm going to, I'm going to, those of you that may be interested in looking at or learning more about senior living options, you know, uh, don't forget, um, you know, jump on our summit. And this um, is going to be an area of need to navigating the healthcare system. So uh, that's where you're going to find this video from Jennifer is in category number two. But anyway, so when we're looking at navigating the, the landscape for senior living, a lot of uh, times that they're going to look at, um, our aging population, but they say by the year 2030, our, our aging population is going to double. And they say within the next few years, all the baby boomers, which um, the youngest baby boomer was born in 1964, they're all going to be 65 and older. And so um, there is the landscape is going to be uh, changing quite a bit and there's going to be a lot more need. 
So um, if this is something that you've been putting off, I suggest, you know, the, st the summit starts March 1st you know, listen to Jennifer's presentation and then start planning. A lot of these places, especially the nice ones or the ones that are have a good reputation for the quality of care, there's waiting lists for a lot of these things. So, um, you know, when when we're looking at at seniors uh, needing placement, you know, we look, we talked about the aging population, you know, health and well-being. Maybe they have family members, family that, that live across the country, different states, What's the quality of life? Do they want to be shoveling, taking care of their yard? Um, who's going to help them with that? Again, the family dynamics, if they don't have a family that's close by that can help them, uh, then if they're living alone, then their social isolation, if they live rurally, uh, can they? what transportation are they going to be able to get to their doctor's appointments? Lots of things go into thinking about uh, senior living as, as an alternative to aging in place. Now I'm, I'm an RN with over 20 years of home healthcare experience. We spent, you know, I spent those 20 years keeping people in their home. So I am, I am by all no means, um, encouraging people. But what I'm saying is, is that every person has individual needs, wants, desires, and then what's safe. And so, um, whether you decide to age in place or whether you decide to look at other senior living alternatives, only you and your family can make those determinations. There's no right or wrong answer. You just need to look at your lifestyle, your financials, um, you know, what do you want to do by staying home, what you don't want to do, and on and so forth. So those are the things that Jennifer's going to go into in depth. So um, she's Jennifer's also going to discuss the impact in aging uh, adults for housing costs, why use a placement service, uh, why placement services are not all alike. And this is where we got into that discussion um, about what I, you know, kind of um, had some bad experiences with. So we, we talk about that a little bit in this in the summit video. And then what does actually a placement service do? We touched on that a little bit. And then Jennifer's going to have her contact information. She works um, nationwide. She she has a network of advisors uh, so they can cover different areas in the United States. And what Jennifer's going to have is, I'm excited, she's going to have a free gift for, for everyone that registers for um, her, uh, at least if you don't register for the entire summit, all you know, 28 videos, you can just choose a section. And again, she's going to be in area needs section two, uh, navigating the healthcare system. And she has a free gift. She's going to offer a a PDF, a checklist of the top 10 things a senior referral placement agent considers for placement. And why this checklist would be really, really important for you is because it's going to prompt you to think about all the things that you need to consider uh, when considering and revising your aging loved one on whether or not a, a, an alternative senior living arrangement would be a good opportunity. So again, if you're looking for senior care resources for your aging loved ones, Consider our 2024 um, Senior Care Summit starts March 1st. Our registration starts February 1st. Again, 28 speakers, 28 different topics related to identifying resources. Uh, we're we're um, showing you what we can pull together for you. And again, those five area needs, those videos are going to be sorted into five um, areas of need or category, which is Number one, caregiver support and family dynamics. We've got some great speakers uh, lined up and we've done some videos, uh, completed those already. Navigating the healthcare system, which is where Jennifer's presentation is going to be. We have uh, jam-packed our, our area of need three, health and wellness. This is where you're going to see most of our providers, our doctors, nurse practitioners, nurses, chiropractors um, are going to be in this category. So actually this category is has more videos in it than any other category but uh area of need number four home and environment we're going to uh, talk to contractors about how to modify a bathroom or for safety equipments we're going to have an it gentleman talk about um senior scams and cyber uh security and awareness we're going to talk about um decluttering and and also downsizing for our seniors and then um, the last area of need we're going to look at, uh, we'll have available is speakers doing presentations on things that impact legally and financially. We're going to have financial planner talking about, again, this very topic. How do you plan? How do you financially plan for aging in place versus a senior living setting? Uh, we're going to have a estate planning attorney. How do you how do you go about setting up trust? What, what does that look like? What, what do you need to consider? 
And we're going to have someone talk um, from one of our shelters here in the state of Wisconsin uh, is going to be talking about elder abuse. So those are some of the things that are going to be at our summit. We hope to see you there. And again, um, this is Pam from Your Nurse Advocates Consulting. Uh, we'll see you again next Tuesday, Tuesday Tips. If you're with us live, it's um, glad to have you here. I didn't see any questions pop up, but we will also have this available for recording on our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to have more of this or get involved in our discussions, feel free to pop on over to our, our private Facebook group, which is Speaking Out on the Care of Your Aging Parents. And we will see you back there soon. Take care.